up against the Mount Gravatt Vultures. Uh, Broad Beach got rolled by Palm Beach last week, but Mount Gravatt uh, won from one after taking down the Western Magpies by a goal. Uh, important win that one could be. I'm Matt Carroll and I'm joined this afternoon by Julian Vandendries. Welcome Jules. Good afternoon Matt, great to be here. My debut for the year. Uh, commentating here at Subaru Oval. Great to work with you as always, mate. Nice to see you. Uh, very different ground that they're going to be on today, Broadbeach. They played at Sulk Oval last week at Palmy uh, against the, the best team in the comp, the back-to-back -back reigning Premier. And Palmy did a bit of a number on them in the end. They're 57 points they went down by, but there were some promising signs. And so Broadbeach will be looking to bounce back. They've got one very, very important in this week, which is... The reigning Grogan medalist, Blake Erickson, who will make a huge difference to that engine room. Uh, what about Mount Gravatt? So the Mounties boys have Adam Boone, their new, uh, new player coach, Matt, which is interesting at Quaffle level. He, um, right, so, so he was named to make his debut as player coach. Um, they can't, they're coming off a win against the Magpies by goal last week in a really close contest, so... Um, they're up and going for the year, first win of the year, and they'll be looking to back it up here at Subaru Oval. Their best last week, as usual, Hamill. Um, Craven, who's now gone over to the Neefle this week. Stubbs kicked five for them. So they're, they're very similar look about them as last year, Matt. Um, they get the injection of Big Huddy, the, uh, the Ruckman today, which will give great support to Andrew Smith. And I think that's where Mount Cravat will feel like they've got the advantage over the Broad Beach Cats today. It was somewhere that Brody struggled last week against Palm Beach in that ruck area. Um, we'll see how they go today, but yeah, late out there, seems Adam Boone is not playing today. So he was named, as you said, to, to make his debut. He is coaching, obviously, but uh, not playing. We're also noticing there may be a few uh, jumper differences here from Mount Gravatt. So we apologise in advance if we're calling the wrong names at times or if we're uncertain on certain players. But uh, we'll aim to get that information to you as quickly as possible. But um, over in the Broadbeach camp from last week, they've, they've got a couple of key outs as well. Their fullback McMahon, well he played fullback last week. He can sort of go anywhere really, but he's out unfortunately. He was... Sounds odd, but he was quite good last week, even though his direct opponent, Jack Anthony, turned out to be best on ground and kicked eight goals. McMahon uh, really battled hard, and so they'll be, they'll be needing someone to step up in that uh, back line. And as we look out there, I think I can see Kwabi Bokies headed down to the back line. That's a big injection for uh, Broadbeach this week. They'll be looking for him to have a big game. Just looking into the middle now, I can see Smith, the skipper from Mount Gravatt, and it looks like Betson who uh, really battled hard last week in the ruck. He's going to be the one to attempt to quell some of the influence of the Vulture skipper. Yeah, I, I think it'll be an even contest today, mate. It was a bit hard to gauge Broadbeach. They were playing a really strong Palm Beach outfit and, um, and Mount Gravatt coming off a win against a good Magpies team. So anything could happen today and um, time will tell as we're about to get things underway. Betson versus Big Smith, who's debuting as captain for the Mount Gravatt side. Up they go, the big man. Smith wins it clearly. And Mount Gravatt will get first use of the ball. Can they move it forward? Strong, hard at the ball there. In go the Cats. They win it out. Well done there. Great play from Newman. New to the club this year, I believe, as Chuka Fowler has his first look at it. Although beaten to the ball and just scrubbing it out wide was Crawley. It's going to come back, though. Little handball over the top to Pantic. And Pantic just chips in board. Cloaks on the lead. Couldn't quite take it. We haven't mentioned Jason Clay. Great front and centre, however. Oh, we felt that. Both players felt that on the smother. But Broadbeach, first opportunity for the afternoon. That is just what the doctor ordered. That's a magnificent start. And it looks like it's Chadwick is on the board early. Wow, well, that was fantastic there. Mount Cravat looked like they were going to get that clearance after Smith in the ruck. And Joel Newman, the Cairns... League medalist, I believe, Matt, and also uh, development coordinator in AFL Queensland. Fantastic one-on-one. -on -one. He got his body in hard and low, got the ball moving forward for, uh, the, cat for the Cats there. And big Jason Cloak was hardly sighted last week. Two early touches, uh, resulting in a goal there. So well done, Broad Beach. Good he's start. A, he's an imposing figure, Cloak. He's camped in the goal square again and Chuka Fowler, the skipper for Brody, he's out at about the 40 metre mark. Similar setup to what they did last week, however, a much bigger ground this week. So it may work out a bit better for them. Betson and Smith to do battle again. Smith with the left hand over the top, although it's taken there by Fisher, immediately taking the ground and the umpire's going to ball that one up again. 
You mentioned Newman before. That was a magnificent bump that he laid, and then he followed it up and, and showed a nice, uh, nice balance to get back to his feet as Burton goes to ground. Didn't have the footy play on, says the umpire. Mount Gravatt trying to get it forward. There he is again, Newman. He's absolutely beset upon by the vultures, and we'll have a third ball up. We've only tracked it about 15 metres towards the outer side. Ollie Pye, the umpire here, balling it up. Oh, there he is again, Smith over the top. Oh, just crashing through hard and doing very well. Although a great smother, that was nice play from Reimer, but it's the Vultures who go forward. Irwin's gonna track this back. Bokey's coming from the side, here he is. He's a very physical presence, and that's a lovely leg out to Ryan Pantic. Fantastic there from Bokey. Pantic moves the ball up the uh, far wing there, although it intercepted there. Macravat will go forward this time. Although they've kicked to a two on one. Has to stand his ground there. Broadbeach with the run of it now. Well, well tackled there by Macravat. Cries for holding the ball, but the umpire's going to move in and ball this one up. Just inside the 50 there at uh, Macravat's end. So, uh, looked like uh, Broadbeach was streaming out clear along the far wing, and um, good interception there by Macravat. As Smith seems to be getting his hand on the footy in the ruck contest. So let's see if he can give his midfield first use. But uh, Broadbeats have sharked a couple of his taps already. They have. The two on one when it went into Mount Gravatt. Stubbs did really well. He kicked five last week, Stubbs. And he's one of the most dangerous forwards in the competition. So whoever's got the job on him, it may be Arnold down there. We'll keep uh, an eye on that one through the afternoon. As yet again, it's stoppage after stoppage. And we haven't mentioned the weather too much. It's been a pretty good day on the coast this morning. But... The clouds are building a little bit. The biggest factor, however, is there was a quite a strong breeze blowing straight towards the commentary box uh, to this near side, uh, which could have an impact as Denji's will go up and just spoil this one out the back. Dangerous position. Can't quite get the foot to the ball, and it's through for a minor score. Fortuitous there, Denji's. Just came off the back of the hand, and um, nearly an easy goal there to make of that, but just, just beat the foot there, and uh, the kick in. Trouble again. Just a dodgy little one, didn't hit the mark, and it's forced out of bounds there, so. That was Harrison Arnold doing the kick out duties, and uh, he tried to find Irwin, but just missed the target, and they were under the pump. It was Dom Nash, he, he kicked a few last week as well, so they've got quite a uh, attacking forward line, obviously, quite dangerous, as the ball just squirts out the back, and he's gone, I would say. How's the umpire gonna see this? No, he's quite forgiving there. Thought he had an arm free and could have got rid of it, but uh, no the umpire disagreed with me. And the other thing uh, with Macavat, Matt, their, their back line looks very similar to last year. Very settled players, you know, in their, their late 20s that have played a lot of footy together. So that's another area that Macavat seemed like uh, they might have the upper hand, whereas Broadbeach have a brand new look to their back line. We'll, we'll see how that plays Eric's out today. Through. But the Cats come near side here. This is Ericsson, Ericsson. the Grogan medalist, back in this week. He's got a couple of early touches after it was. Oh, he just sells some candy, goes around his direct opponent, then kicks it straight into Betson, who it wasn't meant for. Nice handball out from Mayor Cravat, and they're looking to try and find a tail. He's got numbers everywhere out this side. He comes wide, it just sits up a little bit, but it gets to its intended target, which is London, to Stone. Stone, oh, great smother there, and the Broadbeach Cats like that. And, right in um, front of the coach's box. Ericsson was missing from the senior lineup last week, Matt, I believe, uh, after a sin overseas and not quite physically ready to go. But I, I remember around them describing Chris Judd once for the Carlton side and said, you don't, um, you don't take a Ferrari on the dirt road. But they did. They put um, Ericsson in the twos last week and um, just to get him cherry ripe. And he certainly is a Ferrari, the reigning Grogan medalist. I'd have, to, I'd have to imagine that he probably had a say in that. I'd, I'd say he probably felt he was a little bit underdone, but he's a very, very smooth mover, isn't he? Blake Erickson and uh, Broadbeach are welcoming back with open arms this week, and we just saw his class through the middle there a little bit, even if he did kick it into the back of his big ruckman. So, Smith and Betson, just about at 50 metres out from the Vulture's end. This boundary throw is going directly against the wind. Boundary umpire does alright. Smith over the top, almost to himself, comes straight down. That was coming through McDonald and it bounces through. Oh, it's nearly a goal, but it's just missed the wrong side. Hit the post, in fact. I thought it stayed this side. So it's going to be Denji's with the kick out. So the breeze not favouring anyone, as you said, Matt. It's just coming, blowing straight across the field towards our commentary box here. So um, some uh, disposals will need to be... Um, Spot on. Yeah, it's going to affect them a bit. That's a dangerous kick, although he makes it look all right. Can't quite take the mark, though. Tackled without the ball, but then it came back to him. Play on, says the umpire. The Cats come through. Pantic drilled into the ground. Nice handball out the back. They've got time to settle. A little chipping ball out wide to Darcy Denji's. He makes good ground. 
That came from uh, Rhymer. Yes. Started well, Rhymer. He has. So Darcy Denji's down the wing. Nick Burton in the back umpire. Yes, he agrees with me. And so the Merrick Gravatt defender, I think that's Hamill over there. He takes a long time to give it back. Just milks it for all it's worth. And Nick Burton, he's been lively. He's been hit a couple of times. I know that's not a great kick. And they're going to rebound straight away. Stepping off his right foot and coming back through the middle comes the defence. Irwin will go up and takes a very strong mark. Well done. And so it's going to be interesting to see how often they want to play this side because with the wind howling this way, this really is the defensive side. I don't know how many entries you want to get from here. As in the headgear this week comes Lyons. He didn't wear it last week, but that's a nice ball. Couldn't quite take the mark, unfortunately, was Hancock. And it goes out of bounds. Broadbeach attacking end. They lead one goal to two behinds. So it look, looks like uh, he's playing up forward this week, Lyons. I believe he, he played mostly as a defender last week and uh, impressed me with his movement last week coming out of the back line. So we'll get a look at him up forward this week. Better ruck match up here, Smith versus Cloak. Cloak's got the, uh, the stronger body, it suggests, but Smith's still with the reach over the top. Let's see what happens. Cloak uses the body well, gets in front, taps it straight down. Ball goes to ground, no one can quite take it cleanly. They try and get a handball out now. It's Crawley, not quite hitting the mark. Sweating on it, he's panting. He couldn't get it. Oh, he's taking a high one there. I think that was Chadwick, and he looks at the umpire and says, well, how come I've got this egg on my head, sir? So the umpire a... says, none of that, we'll ball it up. Bit of an arm wrestle at present, Matt. Score reads one goal, zero, six. To the Cats, just the one scoring shot. Matt Gravatt have, uh, have two behinds, and uh, probably the best part of the footy for the last five minutes or so. I think uh, the Cats, obviously, they would have had a a big review this week about what happened last week and, and contested ball is going to be a big one. They just let Palm Beach get away with too much last week and already we can see stoppage after stoppage and they're not letting the Mount Gravatt players get that ball on the outside and run and carry. So that would have been a big focus for uh, Bo Zorko and his team this week, I'm sure. So Betson and Smith. Cloak still in the vicinity. He's gone back to the goal square. Both took a foul, a good tackle there. Very nice tackle laid by Telford. And we'll have another throw in on this side and I dare say we'll see a lot of these this afternoon. Strongly built uh, Darcy Irwin. Here we oh, go, Smith, Smith Athletic from the back. And just cop one high Great there, good strong tackle. The umpires let them both go. Going hard out, just a bit of a stalemate at the moment, being parked. Um, on the wing, going out of bounds a couple of times now. Like I said, a bit of an arm wrestle at the moment. No team gaining ascendancy. No, it is a, it is a good, strong, in-type battle here. You just have to hope that both teams are able to maintain their age. Betson, good body work, tapping down in front. Burton, nice, clean pick up on the turn. Little chipping ball, and that's beautiful play there from the Cats. Ball now with Hancock. He was all right last week, Hancock. An inclusion for the Cats. He just goes high to Cloak. Cloak's got the straight. He's going to... Almost marked this uncontested, but good closing speed there. Darcy Denji's with the handball over the top. What can Fowler do? He shrugs the tackle. He goes with the banana and he kicks a goal. Two. The skipper does beautifully. Well Broadbeach have got two. And you can see the Broadbeach players, Matt. I know Fowler kicked that goal. They've got around the cloak as well because his contest there really created that goal. He was big and strong. He looked like he was going to grab it. I don't think he's far off taking a game apart, Matt. I think maybe he's... this week, maybe next week, but... Uh, Created that goal there for Fowler. He's going to get fitter and fitter, Jason Cloak. I don't think he, he really started training too much until recently. And so at the moment, he's pretty much camped in the goal square. But you can just see what sort of presence he actually is. And we look down there, it's Markham that's going to uh, play on him. We look further afield on Fowler. Struggling to pick up who that defender is. But that's, that's the Twin Towers for Broadbeach up that end. And the name of the game will be get it in long and quick. And hopefully Cloak can use his body. As Huddy goes into the ruck now, Betson, that favours him. The umpire will recall that one. Another good matchup over on the far forward flank there. Bill Sand for the uh, Mount Gravatt side. Late up, inclusion yeah, this Yeah, up against Jai Lyons. And look, there's a bit of speed between those two. That'll be interesting to watch as Betson gets a second crack at that. Mount Gravatt, though, get the crumbs, pump it forward straight away. There's a contest well in the air. Darcy but Irwin. Well done by Darcy Irwin. He's well looking done. at wide. He's got Ericsson. That's going to go over his head, but... Well, Lux of Fortune almost landed still with the Cats player. Ericsson just kicks. He doesn't look to be moving really freely, Ericsson, but uh, first game back. Now, number nine for Mount Gravatt, Matt. He's not named on our sheet. It may be that Jonah liked. Yeah, we're playing a bit of catch-up on a couple yeah, of these we'll check jerseys. check on that one. Uh, apologies. 
to number nine and his family for us not being able to call his name. Hardy over the bat. Betson does well in front though. Erickson lays a little shepherd. Darcy Dendry's happy to see that one come out. Under some pressure there from Michael Doust, who's strongly built man. Very young Doust, isn't he? Little figure. Yes, he's marking Erickson at the moment. We'll see whether that is a direct matchup. Fraser Neat in front of us here with Chadwick. Another good matchup too. Hardy over the top. Straight to Dendry's. He's hot. Does get the handball away and they're going to. Red from the stoppage, Fowler, two on one. Well done by the uh, Mount Cravat defence there. Doing nicely, Mitchell Hart able to take the mark. Goes to Huddy in the middle, stretches and takes it. Looks to give a handle, no. He's a left footer. Oh, I tell you what, that's an interesting kick. It's going to not get there. Josh Searle, great contest. But, oh, he paid the mark, I'm not sure that was a mark. And now it's been stripped by Searle and all the players. A uh, bit unclear, but took a foul. Oh, well done. Great one, Who, Crawley there. back, Crawley. Crawley. Magnificent score, but it's... Fowler could get onto the end of this still. Well, that was comedy capers yeah. through the middle there. That was uh, a mark that was paid that probably wasn't. I and think then... Big Huddy was breathe a sigh of relief. Young Crawley helped him out there. Yeah. Uh, make up for that up and under kick. His mids might say, just give the handball there, big fella. As beautifully reading it there. This is number nine. That Another is name. Alike, mate. Thank you very I'm much. Pretty sure, mate. We'll, we'll go with that. He's a lovely mark of the football and good user. That's a lovely kick out in front. And um, Malkovac is maintaining a bit of its possession here. Dom Nash, another experienced campaigner, gives it off. They've got a runner here in Dave McDonald. He's coughed that one up. It looks like that might roll out of bounds. No Denji's ever liable Trouble down here. there. Trouble. Ambitious handball. It puts his teammate under a hell of a lot of pressure. And Gone. it's going to hold him the ball. Fraser so Neat. Great forward pressure there by the Manny boys. And Fraser Neat, no stranger to putting pressure on opponents. Interesting call, that one. We've seen a couple where they've said no prior opportunity, but that one, maybe the umpire didn't like the lack of effort that was being put in by the Broadbeach player, but it was pretty red hot for mine. He'd only just received the handball from Denji's, which was a bit of a hospital, but Denji's couldn't really do much else. And Fraser Need, he's a clever footballer. He's not going to run around, which I thought he might. He's just oh, going to use the breeze to just curl lovely. that one back beautifully. Actually had no assistance from the breeze there, Matt, and he just had some nice right to left on it. A little bit of draw on that kick and just kicked it, uh, caressed it through. So much needed uh, reward for effort there from Malkovac to get their first major on the board. So sort of midway through the quarter here, we've got two goals to one and it's pretty even Stevens contest. Both teams doing pretty well to, uh, to get the ball forward. But as we look into the middle now, we see Hancock's going into the ruck for the Cats. So it looks like it might be Hancock and Betson are going to do the bulk of rucking up against Smith and Huddy. Let's see if Mount Gravatt can use uh, that to their advantage. Probably the more recognised ruckmen are in the white jerseys today as Huddy goes up. Hancock, decent jump at it. At least splits the difference, Burton, at ground level. Picking up nicely and handballing across and they do get it going forward. Cloak in the game again. Oh, spoiled. Courageous there. Yes, and it's Courageous paid. there from Crawley. That's, uh... That's the other thing Cloak's going to do. He's going to make defenders nervous. They're going to have to earn their free kicks, but he did very, very well there, Jaden Crawley, and he chips out wide, and Mount Gravatt looked to spread it. Oh, just sells a bit of candy, goes around. They're going to run here. Crawley, the reigning best and fairest from last year, too. Uh, Matt from Mount Gravatt. Good and, player. Um, excellent defender. And uh, he's got his team going again here as Mount Gravatt go along the far wing. There's a contest there, Broad Beach numbers with Kwabi. See if he can hold it up there for his team. There's in dispute there at the moment. Players dive in and umpire says he'll have that bullet up. We'll start again. So we look forward, it's Stubbs versus Arnold all by themselves in the Ford 50, although we do have Nash just trekking back with Irwin, but it's a genuine genuine one-on-ones down in the goal square here for Mount Gravatt if they win the clearance. Broadbeach haven't pushed a number back yet. It's, it's just man on man all over the ground, which you don't mind seeing. Good, honest football being played here. As ball comes to ground, Denji gets a little handball out lines, tries to track it, goes low, ball goes out of bounds, and we'll have a throw in on the far side. No real ascendancy either way, Jules, from what I'm seeing. No, still an arm wrestle, Matt. I think it's going to be a bit like that all day today. I don't think either team will run away with this one. And... Um... We'll see how things pan out. And Malkovac continue to have the edge in there in the ruck as they win that down. Billy Sam pumps it forward, hacks it forward. Nice spoil. And ricochets out of bounds. So I, I do reckon that Broadbeach probably will back themselves with the midfield. They go pretty deep through there. They have a lot of runners and they um, their game plan is, is set around this big Subaru oval. 
where uh, Mount Gravatt, as I said earlier, they're very settled defence and um, some big dominant ruckmen. So an in intriguing battle. Ooh. That's holding the Just ball. Just bit off more than he could there. there, Lay. As they and play on. Boy. Not sure that was the right option as Stone gets his man, but the ball squirts out wide. Fisher can't pick it up cleanly. Oh, Lyons just steamrolls a vulture. And the vulture's coaching box felt like that could have been in the back, but the umpire disagreed. And we're almost back into the centre of the ground here. So you know, I don't mind the enterprising play, the, the attempt to play on quickly. It just wasn't quite on that time, but ball goes, squirts out wide. Hitting the deck hard. Pantic coming through, giving a handball on the back of Burton. He tries to find it, couldn't quite pick it up. The Vultures do. Oh, spinning out of trouble beautifully yeah. and just getting it on the boot there. That was McDonald. He's done some nice things in the first quarter. Irwin for the Cats. Just tapping out wide. Needs an option. Feeds back. Denji's under the pump immediately. Gives it back to Irwin, who's still under the pump. Good solid body work there and nice forward pressure from the Vultures. Yeah, excellent to rein him in there, the Vultures. The Broadbeach look like they're out. They, um, they had the overlap, but... Um Mankovac just got up in their face and, um, and, and created the turnover there. So we're back to a stalemate. Huddy just doing what he likes in the ruck. Bokey, can he pick this up and run? He just bangs it onto that left boot. Fowler didn't pick it up immediately, but he's still going to be first to it. Ericsson coming through, just went the wrong side of the contest. But Searle coming through. Now Ericsson's on. He doesn't go to him, though. He goes to Cloak, and it's a kick. beautiful kick. Cloak getting back quickly. Ericsson says, no, no, don't give it to me. This is what you're in the team to do, but... Josh Searle, that was beautiful touch. One way to get your big men in form is kick a duel like that, Matt. And um, a couple of nice easy marks on the chest, a couple of free shots at goal, and all of a sudden big Jason Cloak could be uh, in for a day out. So let's see how he goes with this. He'll need to kick it sol solidly from about 40 out. He does kick through a bit of a helicopter and it fades away to the right. So hasn't quite found his touch yet, Cloak, although he's getting his hands on it, which is a good sign for the Cats, right. the big recruit. And we might, that may be indicative of the breeze as well. We're a little bit protected in the commentary box here. We can't feel, but when we were watching the twos game earlier on, it was quite strong. So we'll see what happens. Want Smith to fly here. Smith does fly, gets a left hand to it. So that's okay. It's a reasonable attempt. And they're out the back here, Merkovat. Needs a good contest. Well done, Arnold. Jolie Lay, normally good by foot. He's filthy with himself. Just turned that one over Harris, and they were out. Harrison Arnold picked it off beautifully. And he'll just chip back to Irwin. Denji's is back this side. They're looking to open it up to the attacking side. There's not much going on out there. It's got to be Lyons if he goes that way. Otherwise, he's got to go this way. Oh, danger, danger, danger. Ball comes to ground. Can't quite pick it up there. Goes in low and hard, though. Pollard can't pick it up. Nice pick up there and a little... Oh, was that a handball? Play on, says the umpire. And Searle does well to wrap it up. The umpire doesn't like it. He's going to play holding the ball, I think. He is. Yeah, it didn't show much intent to get that one out there. That was McGurin at the bottom, at the, at the bottom of the pack. Joshy Searle coming into this game, the veteran, the 200 gamer. Important. Been at the Cats since a, a young boy and um, continues to go around again through his beloved Cats and he's just maintaining possession a little better at the moment, the Cats. Oh. As I say that, they kick a 50-50 ball and over she goes. Oh, threw it out the back there. It's a little flick out the back and this, that'll uh, be paid to the Cats. This chipping game from the Cats, they did try to do this last week against Palmy and the issue was that they missed their targets too often. So it, it might be a, oh, Denji's right off the instep. It's going to work though. Well done by Pantic. First the move, nearly played on there, but he's got a runner out wide. It's Irwin, but he has to wait for it and it's going to stall all of his momentum. Stubbs did well to close him down. And so Irwin looking, coming back inboard. It's going to hit the deck, but he's got time to turn here. This is Reimer. Rhymer goes out wide and just misses the tay. This is what I'm talking about. They try to hit up tay, and they missed them last week, and it, Palm Beach made them pay. So far, the Vultures haven't, but Stubbs, first look at a one-on-one, -on -one and Irwin's going to have to be on red alert because Stubbs is a very, very clever forward. Coming off the bag of five, too, Matt. Too far out to score this time, but he pumps it up towards the goal square. Good crumb there from him. Big Jonah lights the target, but uh, the Cats win out. They've got numbers. Burton's been busy. Ever reliable, versatile player. Ericsson. Ericsson. Just working his way into a bit of form after his extended holiday and doesn't normally turn it over. No exception now as they pump it out to the near side. They seem to be kicking the one on ones. That one pays off. Darcy Irwin getting, getting his hands on the footy and they're out here. There's an opportunity. Like Jackson Fisher looks ahead. It's a nice ball again, I tell you what. Chuka Fowler says thank you very much. That last kick inside 50 has been good for the Cats the last couple of times, Matty, and that's the all-important kick, isn't it? It is. That's and the one that's going to set up a shot at goal, and Cloak had the last one. This time Fowler, the leading goal kicker in the competition last year. 
So He's got one already this afternoon, a little banana kick from close to the goal square. This is similar range, similar spot on the ground to where Cloak kicked it. Let's see whether Fowler can make a bit of fist of it than Cloak did. The usual deliberate approach from Fowler. He strikes it much better, but it's still going to fade right. Cloak might mark this. No, too high on the point post. So you can see the effect of the wind there, just dragging everything way right to that end at Broadbeach. Sorry, that Broadbeach is forward end, and so... He doesn't have too much going for him. He's just going to have to kick long here. Jamison might have to fly from the back. Smith's going to go. He does stays down. Broadbeach have the flyers. Burton all front and centre and just collared around the neck. And Burton made sure the umpire saw it. Clever footballer. He goes into the pocket. Is it going to get over the top? Oh, flyers again for the Cats. Couldn't quite take the mark. It was Chadwick. But it's in the region of the ground that uh, Broadbeach won it. We've still got the best part of six minutes to play in this first quarter. So plenty of time for some scoring to be done. So two goals, two, 14, the Cats. They lead Mount Cravat, one goal, two, eight. Nothing in this contest. It's seesawing at the moment. The Cats just having the better of the last five minutes. Mount Cravat will try and run this footy out. Uh, but there's Cats everywhere. Cats absolutely yes, everywhere. Again. Darcy Irwin's had a busy first turn. The man with a ponytail. He'd have to have taken four or five marks already this quarter, I think. So And a nice kick there too to chat. Nice uh, chiseling little Pantic, ball to Pantic. Coming off a uh, pretty serious injury last year, Matt. There it is. Yeah, very serious. I was at the ground when he did that. I was real concerned for Panty. It's great to see him back out there. Well done, Lions. That wasn't his footy, I don't think, to begin with. Fowler was coming hard, but he read the drop of it better. And uh, Lions will line up. But from what we've seen from Cloak and Fowler, this is no gimme, this shot at goal, despite being 45 out directly in front. Lovely spring there, Matt, of, of one step really, just, just sprung up uh, in front of a couple of Macrovat players and, and clutched that one grab. So I'd like to see some more representation from Broadbeach down in the goal square for this as he comes in, although they backed his leg. No, he got the journey fine, but he hung it too far left. He saw Fowler in Cloak's kick and uh, just over-adjusted a little bit as, as Hamill. The, uh, the spiritual leader of the Mac of that side comes on. Yeah, Bill Sam, he's heavily strapped uh, thigh there. Not sure if it's a quad issue or a hamstring issue, but he's just come off. We'll keep an eye on it. He doesn't look in too much distress as it goes to Smith, the skipper. He takes a good mark. Protected the ball, drop well there, Big Smith. He's been impressive. Uh, not so impressive last week, but he had a great year last year, Matt. Every time I watch Andrew Smith, he just looks like a player that could go to the next level. He's a good footballer. Coming out as wide, licked. Out toward just Rice. ran underneath the footy there. A little wry smile as he realises after it just Jana licked or Jonah liked. We'll have to get clarification. We on that will. We'll, we'll get that right for Jonah because we, right. we won't have him, didn't really have his number right on the list to begin with. But um, Send in the pronunciation oh, You call him licked, I'll call him liked and we'll get it between no, us. I'll back you in, Jules. I'll back you in. Liked it is. That's a nice tap. Broadbeach runners coming through. Searle couldn't quite take it. Getting in low and hard there. Dragging it back in. That was Jamison. Ball comes out, little quick kick forward. Oh, nice body work, couldn't quite take the mark. Searle, clean hands, Pollard, little chipping ball. Burton's gonna get here, that's a great kick. Burton needs to turn quickly, wheel and go, and he does. Fowler's on here. The ball is not bad from Burton, just couldn't quite get there, and cutting off again nicely. Again. They're doing well, the Mount Cravat defense. Murphy, twisting, turning, looking for an option. He's gonna find one out here, and neat. Holding up beautifully that half-back line for Mount Cravat. They've been under siege the last five minutes, but the old heads, Crawley, Murphy, uh, Mark and those types, doing a great job. Smith goes up with the one hand, couldn't quite take Betson. it. You can see Smith's got a, quite a few centimetres on, on Betson, but he tours away Betson. He, he's good, Betson. I didn't mind him last week. Yeah. Real competitor. He, he's obviously outsized, but he's got a good leap on him, and he, he just gives his all, I think. That's what I saw last week. So here they go. Bodies up. Betson... Call that one a draw. Fisher needed to give the handball. Didn't quite. Goes to lines again. He go, tries oh, to go through a door that was already closed, but he did all right. Oh, steaming through the middle there. That was Nash. Just a tumble punt for Denji's and Irwin. Problem is they both went to ground. Oh, Mankovets on the feet. Stubbs, talented footballer, wants his right foot. Looks inboard. Beautiful use. That's a magnificent kick. And he's found like his man, London. London. Jimmy London. Back into the team this week. London didn't play last week. But Sam Stubbs there. Sorry oh, it's a free kick being paid, actually. The, the mark was not paid. They've paid the free kick. And this is our man who's not listed on our program, unfortunately. We'll clarify that at the break, Matt. We'll work he, that out. Uh, he's been lively, nicely. too. He has. So let's see how he goes here. We'll have to kick from right on the paint, the 50-metre arc. One step inside. It's a lovely contact, but he's just pulled that one you can to see the left. Everything's 
tugging this way, isn't it? So both sides, uh, plenty of opportunities, but not quite nailing them just yet. And it's, uh, it's evened itself out as the Cats, see if they can join the dots here and, and clear it out of the fence from a kick in. The new rule, Zangis takes five or six extra steps and pumps it up the middle. It's a good kick. Good grab. It's a great kick. That's Newman. Big Newman. It's, it's a moving. good size, Newman. It moves moving well. Quickly. Oh, Lyon oh, steamrolled from the front. That was Hamill coming through and absolutely poleaxing him. Lucky not to get front on contact there, young Joe Lyons. Lyons but, uh, jumps up quickly. He's fine. The headgear just paid for itself, I think. As the Ruckman go at it again, Lyons involved again there. Cats, Burton's been good early. Slick hands, but this time wrapped up. Umpire gives him the benefit of the, of the doubt. Said he didn't have long enough to begin with, young fella. So, Ruckman again. Cats will get this. Josh Searle hucks it forward. Gives Fowler a chance. Great hands, clean first go. Great bit the of Cats have numbers streaming forward. Plays with their hands up. That kick doesn't favour Cloak, though. It's spoiled again. The Macrovac back line, click in the gear. They swarm. That one got could him. be dropping the ball, and it got is. Cloak thinks he got a handball to it or knocked down the tackle, but uh, he did have a bit of time there to make a decision and got tackled with it, got caught, and it, it's that man Hamill, I believe, on the far side. Mm, that Malcravat defence, they back each other, they leave their man, and, and they help each other out. They're a good unit. And Smith nudged under the yeah, footy there. I agreed. He gave himself away a bit there, and he pays yeah. advantage, but Malcravat didn't really want it, and now oh. everyone's a bit confused, but they go back to Smith. Yeah, Betson gave himself away. He sort of gave him the nudge, then put his hand up to say, I didn't do anything. Sorry, sir. The umpire disagreed as Smith, just a little chipping ball out wide, and they just might slow it up. We've got just over a minute to play in this first quarter. Entertaining first quarter. Bit of that arm it wrestle has, continues. as uh, only one straight off, kick in it, Matt. Off the instep. Smith tries to reach over the top of Betson again. And Searle squirting handball out to Irwin, feeds back to Denji's. They're well set up here. They've got it out the back. And that's a good kick out wide, and that's Arnold. Oh, he drops the mark now, now he's under the pump. Watch out for Sam Stubbs here. He's every chance to kick a goal here. Look at the Mount Gravatt boys there everywhere. There's not a cat in sight. He's done all right, oh, but is he going to hatch it here? He's He'll done take very that. well there. He'll take that. Made it hard for himself when he dropped an easy mark. He had it spent before he had it. And there were three vultures ready to pounce there, Matt. It just... He did well to lock that footy back up. So we've got a ball up 20 metres out from the mouth of that goal. They were, they were circling the vultures. Yeah, they were circling. They? Denji's lays a good tackle. They're desperately trying to defend here. They don't want to concede one. Bokey just off the deck. Both boys go in, try and pick the footy up, protects it well. Coming through hard, trying to win a There's free kick. Man. but Good tackle from Darcy Denji's. Good tackle. So, uh, Kwabi Bokey, the, the Southport player, Matt. He's, he's done a few nice things too. He looks like he's got some wheels and, uh, and strong around the hips too. That one's hacked They've forward. they got to hold out here. There's only 20 seconds left in this quarter. They must hold firm Broad Beach. They'll take a ball up here, I'd say. And they're going to get one. So, 13 seconds left to go in the quarter. And there's a lot of numbers in the Mount Gravatt forward line at the moment. Up they go. Betson doesn't want to give away a free kick. He doesn't. Smith just tried to thump it. Stubbs. Almost take. Oh, he's hit oh, high. And he's going to get the free kick. The umpire too. saw it. Well, this could swear the legend, right. Matt. I hope he's all right. He's still on the ground. I think he's just making sure that he sells it enough that nobody questions the free kick. But he's definitely head over the ball and got hit front on. And a man of the uh, skill and talent of Sam Stubbs, you would back him in from here. Rewarded there. Stubbs went straight at the footy and um, drew a free kick. So. Not normally how your full forwards get their shots on goal, but... Uh, it's going to kick after the siren here, I'd it. say, Jules. This... This to square the uh, scores at the quarter time break, which I think would be a fair result, Matt. Yeah, I, I'd agree with you. Let's see how he goes. As Stubbs come through, fresh off five last week. Kicks it nicely. It's bending around oh. and it's just nicked the inside of the post, so... Doesn't quite give his side the momentum they wanted coming into the break there. But a, a evenly fought first quarter there, Matt Carroll. Um, we read the scoreboard. Broadbeach, two goals, 3-15. Not making the most of all our opportunities. But Mount Gravatt were the same. They finish on one goal, 3-9. Maybe one, one goal, goal 4-10, four, four, yeah. I should say, Matt, as they fix that Haven't that put Stubbs' up. point on there. A little bit of chatter between the teams there. Darcy Denji's uh, on the lip. But as they go to the quarter time break... Uh, Really evenly poised contest. We've already mentioned the fact that Mount Gravatt have a win on the board already, but Broadbeach are desperate to get themselves on the board. And they've, they've made a good fist of the first quarter. So, 
As we turn at quarter time, it's Broadbeach by five points. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back shortly.